Plato, Miss Tennant. You are seriously asking the court to believe that on the 14th of November last year, the very night, I would remind the court, on which the crime that my client is accused of committing took place, you just happened to be walking in the park. That is correct. That is what? Correct. Oh, it is correct, is it? <laughs> I see. I wonder, Miss Talliot, whether you were aware that the American novelist Gertrude Stein was a self-confessed lesbian. <laughs> well, I believe so. You believe so? Miss Talliot, Gertrude Stein remains one of the most celebrated novelists of the 20th century. Her lesbotic tendencies are a matter of public record. Yes. Yes. But you only believe that she is a lesbian. <laughs> I've never really thought about it. No. I've never read any of her works. Come, come, Miss Talliot. There is not two streets away from your flat. A bookshop <laughs> where the works of Gertrude Stein are openly on display. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and you are asking this jury to believe that on the numerous occasions upon which you must, in, during the course of your duties as a woman, have passed this shop, while shopping, for example, you have never entered its premises and bought a single volume by this openly lesbicious writer. <laughs> Mr Foley, I'm afraid I really fail to see where this line of questioning is leading us. Well, with your lordship's permission, I am trying to establish that this witness has been guilty of weaving a transparent tissue of farragos, a catalogue of litanies, and that far from being the respectable president of a children's charity and ambassador's daughter that my learned friend, the counsel for the prosecution, would have us believe, she is, in fact, an active, promiscuous and voracious lesbite. <laughs> I see. We'll carry on. But, Mr Foley, I must warn you that if you attempt to banny rag or bulldoze this witness, I shall take a very dim view of it. Your lordship is most pretty. Very well, then you may be <laughs> Are you aware, Miss Talliot? It's Mrs, actually. Oh, oh, I do beg your pardon. Oh, well, if you wish to make such a meal of it, I, for one, shall certainly not stand in your way, Mrs Talliot, if that is how you prefer to be known. Well, it's how my husband prefers me to be known. Ah, yes, your husband. Your husband, the well-known bishop. Yes. Yes, a bishop in the religion, the Church of uh, England, I believe it calls itself, which owns land, <laughs> much land. Land on which houses have been built. Houses in which it is statistically probable that private acts of lesboid love have been committed. <laughs> I'm, uh, Mr Foley, I feel that once again I must rein you in. I myself am a member of this self-same church. Are we to imply from the tenor of your thrusts that I am a lesbian? No, oh, your lordship misunderstands me. Well, I hope so. I hope the day is very far distant on which I could ever be accused of making love to a woman. <laughs> I absolutely adore your lordship. <laughs> Attraction to women, however repellent as it may be to persons of sensibility, is not in itself a crime. No, I long to nestle between your lordship's thighs. <laughs> We must therefore remember, Mr Foley, in our enthusiasm to get to this bottom, that Miss Talliot is not on trial. She is a witness. However depraved and wicked her acts of lust, they, in all their disgusting and depraved bestiality, are not in themselves the subject of this assize. Your Lordship is adorable, my love. <laughs> Very well. Proceed. Thank you, my love. Now, I do not propose, Miss Talliot, to burden the jury with any more details of your sordid and disreputable erotic career than is necessary. I merely wish to know, for my own private elucidation, how it is that you expect a British jury to believe the testimony of a monstrous bull dyke of your standing <laughs> against that of a respectable businessman. I am merely reporting what I saw. What you saw? What you saw through eyes dimmed with lust? What you saw maddened by the noxious juices of your notorious practices? What I saw on my way back from the parish council meeting. Is it not a fact, Miss Toilet, that the words <laughs> parish council are an infamous anagram of the words lesbian crouch? <laughs> you hesitate, Miss Talliot. Well, you I stand condemned out of your own soiled and contaminated mouth. I... No further questions, Miss well... No further questions. Thank you, Mrs. Talliot. You may stand down, Mr. Lesbian. Oh. Will you be in for tea tonight? 
tonight, Jeremy? Certainly, Mother. Call Sir Anthony Nilby. 